Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical reports and we are discussing get cursor statement and in the previous video because our all previous requirements are based upon order number so we achieved the same to same requirement through get cursor now in the previous video i tell you that yes the advantage of get cursor is based upon individual columns yes wherever the put user is putting the cursor we can display this different different secondary list suppose if i will open this program in another session and i will use the debugging and parallelly we will achieve now suppose i will put a breakpoint as a part of at line selection i am going for order number 1 to 5 we are now displaying the secondary list based upon order number suppose now user is putting the cursor on order date now third customer is saying if user is putting the cursor on the order date and double click or click on to choose button or doing f2 on the secondary list just display a message that this is order date so what we will do suppose if i will put a cursor here and click on to this button you all know whenever get cursor statement will execute in lv field we will get the field name and in lv value we will get the corresponding order date value so now we will write the logic here now we will display the secondary list based upon order date order date so i will simply now put a if condition now if lv underscore field you all know or you can check in the debugging board if user is putting the cursor then what is the value of the order date what is the field name of the order date is lwa underscore data hyphen order date and we will simply simply display a message on the secondary list suppose i am writing right this is order date simply we are just going for small small requirements this is order date i will go for end if now you all know we should never never hard code in one language we should always always use text symbols suppose i will write text hyphen 000 in the same playlist i put so much stress on the text symbol during the part of best programming practices also now i will double click and create this text symbol i will go for yes i will go for yes i will go for activate now i will simply activate the program also so if user is putting the cursor on the order date column on the secondary list we will get different sort of information suppose now we will go for third case suppose user is putting the cursor on payment mode now so now if user is putting the cursor on the payment mode then what is the field value lw a data hyphen pm now we will go for different type of secondary list if lv underscore field is equal to now what is the column value lw a data hyphen payment mode 
I will go for dot. And if now if user is putting the cursor on payment mode column, we will see if the value is C, we will display credit card on the secondary list. If the value is D, we will display debit card on the secondary list. If the value is N, we will display net banking on the secondary list. So how I will write the logic. You all know in LV underscore value, in LV underscore value, we will get the value of payment mode. So I will further put a if condition into this. You can go for case also. It's totally your wish. If LV underscore value is equal to C. If it is C, we will simply, simply write credit card. Else if, I will just close this. Anyways, I will create text symbol. If it is equal to D, we will display debit card. I will just delete. System is slow. Now, else if, if your LV underscore value is D, we will display debit card. Just we are going for different, different kinds of secondary list. And this is what sometimes project ask about these kinds of requirements. Now I will simply go for N. If the LV underscore value is N, we will display net banking. Now I will go for fourth column also and collectively I will create text symbols. Now if user is putting the cursor on the currency column, yes, if I will go for choose button, then what is the value of LV underscore field? It is work area hyphen currency. So we will write if LV underscore field is equal to LW a data hyphen currency. Suppose if the currency is INR, we will display Indian rupees. If the currency is USD, we will display United States dollars on the secondary list. As of now, we are just going for the assumption that there are only two currencies. So now you all know in which variable you will get the currency value in LV underscore value. The debugging is always, always a vital tool to write you the logic. So always make a practice that you will parallel session do the debugging. And if you write the logic, the mistakes will be always, always less. If LV underscore value is INR, I will simply go for Indian rupees. Else if the value is USD, and you can see the importance. We are going for different, different information on the secondary list based upon the cursor where user is putting the cursor. United State Dollars. I'll check the syntax. And I will activate. We should never hard code in one language 
we should always always create text symbols suppose this is text hyphen 001 this is text hyphen 002 this is text hyphen 003 this is text hyphen 004 this is text suppose this is text hyphen 005 i will just go for syntax check and activation i will create these text symbols the first one is credit card i will double click 001 is credit card now i will go for 002 002 is debit card now i will go for 003 003 is net banking now i will go for 004 004 is indian rupees now i will go for 005 005 is united states dollars i will activate so we finished with the logic now i will just put a break point and we will check that are we getting different different secondary list or not the break point is already there now we will run i'll just come out which is in another session now we will run so firstly we will go for order number suppose one to five We'll check each and every column one by one. Suppose I'm putting a cursor firstly on order number. I'm double clicking. You all know on double click add line selection event called. What is field order number? What is the value three? So this if condition is true. We are fetching that data from order item table we are displaying that data now the control will go to next if condition this if condition false it will not execute this if condition false it will not execute this if condition false it will not execute and you can see we are getting the order number details on the secondary list Suppose now I will go for one scenario for order date. I'm putting a cursor on this date. Now I'm supposed clicking on to choose button. Now, whenever this get cursor will execute, you can see the field is order date and this is the value. This first if condition is false now because we have not put the cursor on order number. And you can see directly I came on to this particular condition. Now, this if condition is true, it will simply simply write this is the order date. Third if condition false, fourth if condition false. And have you seen we got different information on the secondary list? I will go for back. Suppose I will take one scenario of payment. Suppose I am putting the cursor on the first, I am putting the cursor on payment mode column for the first record. Suppose I am doing F2 service. You all know add line selection called, I am executing. So field is payment mode, value is C. First if condition, false because it is not order number column. Second if condition false, it is not order date. Third if condition is true. 
So now I'm inside the if condition. Now it will check what is the value. Value is C, D or N. Currently the value is C. So this if condition true. And it will simply, simply write credit card. Rest of the if condition false. Now if I will come out and have you seen we have different secondary list. Suppose I will put a cursor on USD, United States Dollars. I am double clicking. Now, this field is currency. So, first if condition, false. Second if condition, false. Third if condition, false. Fourth if condition is true. Now, it will check currency is INR or USD. So this if condition false. So system will go to else if it is USD. Yes, it is USD. And it will simply, simply print United States dollars. And you can see how important is get cursor statement. We are going for different, different kind of secondary list based upon the cursor position where user is putting the cursor. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we have written the logic in get at line selection event, secondary list for order date, secondary list for payment mode, secondary list for currency. And get cursor is very useful because we can develop different, different kind of secondary list based upon the cursor position where user is putting the cursor. Now it is all about the finishing of get cursor. We finished or we took a requirement. We achieved through psi diesel system variable. Then we achieved through hide. Then we achieved through get cursor. In get cursor, we took additional requirements also. In the next video, we will do a full comparison of hide statement and get cursor. You know the practical, but now we will compare theoretically also based upon our practical experience. So that's it in this video. Thank you.